for investment, infrastructure, service delivery, and economic growth. It also affects the country's social and economic fabric, fueling criminal and terrorist activities, undermining the rule of law, endangering economic and financial stability in the impending uh, and impeding nation building. Confiscation of assets of criminal proceeds still remains as a small fraction of the estimated proceeds of TOC, that is transnational organized crime. To a large extent, the criminal justice, justice sector focuses on prosecution of predicate crimes, leaving the proceeds of crimes in the hands of criminals and their networks to continue enjoying. In fact, criminals in this network consider jail term as part of cost of doing business, especially terrorists. They consider it as part of the calling when they are jailed. Targeting the financing and the proceeds of serious crimes and terrorism through effective financial investigation, prosecution, and eventual confiscation and freezing of illicit assets is an effective strategy to mitigate these threats. It is therefore in our common interest as the MLCFT SK project to join hands with our partners to fight the creation and distribution of illicit financial flows, especially working to recover and confiscate assets amassed through proceeds of organized crime, therefore cutting, hitting the criminals where it hurts most. The EU has over the years stood as a solid partner to Kenya, supporting regional initiatives based in Nairobi and the region, dedicated to enhancing national and regional capacity in the field of financial investigation and prosecution, asset recovery, AML, and counterfinancing of terrorism. In particular, we at AML CFT project the prosecutors in conjunction with the Asset Recovery Agency to have a common approach when it comes to asset recovery. We've had a regional heads of asset recovery meeting in Mauritius, and here we also we had uh, Brigadier Alice Marty and uh, Director Jennifer Gitiri, who came to discuss uh, regional issues on asset recovery affecting the countries. We've worked with asset recovery in developing of interagency guidelines on cooperation and collaboration in investigation and prosecution of terrorism and terrorism financing. Uh, Asset Recovery Agency and the staff have also participated in our regional uh, trainings. We are currently working together with the agency in developing a litigation handbook. Hope Jennifer will be kind enough to give us such a glorious launch when it's done. Our partnership with Asset Recovery Agency is one of our bigger picture. We are proud of it. Since 2014, the EU has steadily increased technical, material, and expert support to Africa to strengthen the region's capacity to respond to different categories of illicit financial flows. In 2022, this support has been extended to cover 34 countries in Eastern Central and Southern Africa plus Yemen. Our project emphasizes on a holistic follow the money and recover the money approach, targeting the proceeds of crime. In the coming five years and beyond, we hope to continue and working together to grow our partnership with the asset recovery agencies and other agencies, both nationally and regionally. Together, we will be part of the solution to make Kenya a better place by combating corruption, organized crime, money laundering, terrorism through a robust asset recovery and confiscation regime. I would like again to take this opportunity to congratulate uh, the Asset Recovery Agency through the excellent leadership of Brigadier Alice Mate. Thank you so much.